This week, I got three really dope tools for design and WordPress development. I'm going to start off with something that I've recently discovered that I have just fallen in love with and been using for my design process. And as always, the third tool is going to be the feature tool for this episode. What's up, everyone? I'm Jeffrey at Lightbox. And well, let's just geek out over some design and development tools and resources. All right, tool number one. Our first tool is Hugh And this is one I am so excited about because I just discovered it. And when you see what it could do, you'll see why I have been loving this tool. All right, so this is to help find color palettes and color schemes for your projects. It kind of works like cooler.com in a way. Like you could go ahead and generate, you can find colors that you like. Let me find one I like. Well, do you know what? I like that last one. Let's say I really like this purple, I could lock it in. So that part is cool right there. And then you could go ahead and generate it and put together your color palette. Now, what I really like about this, it does a whole lot more. So let's say we want to go to our website and see how this will look on a website. We could go over here, click on website and start to get an idea and a feel on how this design will actually look like. And what's really great about this is you could go through, find a few color palettes. And when you get a new project with a client and you are giving them ideas for the design, it's really easy to go ahead and take like screenshots, put together like a good mood board and you can show the client, Hey, here's a few color schemes and give examples of how it will look on the website. Now, if you go down here on the left toolbar, you're going to see there's all kinds of options. You could go either with a regular website or a monochrome. You could choose how many accent colors if you want something minimal. And this is a great way to get a quick jump start to a project. I was able to go on here, find a good color scheme, get an idea on how it will look on the website. It took me literally less than a minute for a website I was just building to come up with a color scheme for it. I just wanted something quick and dope that I really like. Now there's all kinds of other things you could do in here. You could choose many different colors. You could keep them more minimal. Uh, you could just keep it between two colors. If you want to go with the minimalistic style, look and feel you got gradients. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff you could do here. This is a great one though, to put into your design process. The next time you start a project and tool number two, this one is for our WordPress developers and marketers right here. This is fluent CRM. Now, if you haven't heard of Fluent CRM, you most likely might have heard about Fluent Forms. It's a very popular and awesome built form for WordPress. Well, the team behind it, they built this and this is nothing new. It's actually been around for a while. I've been using it for a couple years now for my own email marketing. And just to wrap it up and sum it up what Fluent CRM is, this is basically like having MailChimp built into your WordPress website. All the data stays with you inside your website and you run your own campaigns and all that. Now there is a lot to go through here, a lot that I could say about this. And if you would like to learn more about Fluent CRM and get a deeper dive into it, just let me know inside the comments. If I get enough people asking, I will make a dedicated video for Fluent CRM because I have been using this now for a couple years. And what I love most about it is the automations and integrations. I have this so heavily automated right now and integrated in so many different things and the workflows that I use it with, then also with clients, our clients with WooCommerce sites. We've done awesome things with Fluent CRM and WooCommerce. Uh, this is a powerful tool, super powerful, but just remember with great power comes great responsibility. So please no spamming. All right. It's time now for tool number three, which is our highlighted tool for this video. And our highlighted tool for this video is WP umbrella. This is for anybody managing many WordPress websites for all of you that are selling WordPress maintenance and care plans. This is next level right here. So you might have heard of Manage WP or Main WP or Infinite WP. The thing about those, and I use Manage WP for years while doing our WordPress maintenance plans. The thing about it is it's old and outdated. It feels old and outdated. Now, WP Umbrella, this is new and clean. It is so easy to use. It's also very cost effective. And the one thing about it that I like a lot is the team behind it is really active as far as updating it and turning this into the full out solution that is going to replace Manage WP. 
I personally have replaced Manage WP, and now we use WP Umbrella to manage all of our client websites on our maintenance plans. So this is something definitely to check out. And again, if you want a more in-depth look into WP Umbrella, drop them in the comments. The more comments I get on a specific tool, the more chance I'm gonna make a dedicated video for. I'm probably gonna make one anyways for this one because it is that good. And it is a newer tool that I think a lot of us WordPress developers and creatives are managing multiple WordPress websites should be looking at. That's it for this week's designer and developer tools and resources. I got more coming up soon. So if you like geeking out as much as I do over just really cool, fun, and productive tools, then make sure to subscribe, like, and do all that good YouTube stuff. And also, I am encouraging everyone to please drop down some of the tools that you like to use, something that you found is really cool that you might not think a lot of people know about and you want to share it and get it out there. Drop them in the comments. That way we could all learn and discover new things together. That's the purpose of these videos. All right, I will be back again soon. Thank you.